weird and creepy. And now I know lacks even the loosest attachment to anything like reality. Can you see my teeth? Are my teeth prominent? You look like a fucking dental advertisement. Just pose naturally like you always do. Yeah, that's better. I'm so glad you're doing my title cards. It really takes a strain off the oscillating fan that was doing it before. Oh, I'm always glad to volunteer my time for money. What's this next episode about anyways? Ball in a cup! No, so do you want me to draw that ball in a cup? No, Coral! The subject of the episode has to remain a mystery. I mean, look at any movie poster. Look at Jurassic Park. They had like a dinosaur on that poster, and I was like, oh, I gotta go see that. It has a big T-Rex on it. And then I went and it was like a three hour black and white movie about the Holocaust. Worst experience of my life. How did they make a ride out of that anyways? Nonetheless, the poster has to be intriguing. You have to come up with some clever hook to drag the people in. Ah, fuck it, let's just use dinosaurs. I'm drawing a fucking dinosaur. Dinosaurs with the tails and the horns and the clippity cloppity hooves. Dinosaurs don't have hooves, you're thinking of polar bears. Quetzalcoatl. Drop me as a Quetzalcoatlus. The fuck is a pretzel squatless? It's an ancient dinosaur. A feathered serpent worshipped by the Mayans. Long, long ago in the deep dark jungles of Mexico, which was then known as Australia, the Mayan people, when not fucking up their calendars, were busy appeasing their snake dinosaur deity. After Mayan culture was bought out by the Spanglish explorer Cortex, Mormons adopted Quetzalcoatlus as their own god and named him Jesus Christ of America. Yeah, take that fools. Quetzalcoatlus died for our sins, but he never really died because he can't crucify a snake. They got no arms. So you want me to draw a snake? It's like the easiest thing to draw. You draw a straight line. Here's your snake. A snake with feathers. It's gonna look like an amputee showgirl. A boa wearing a boa. That's potential customer. What does this got to do with the ball in a cup? What about ball in a cup? The picture, the title card, the one I'm drawing for you. I don't see your artistic genius in their head. What does it got to do with the ball in a cup? Remember, we're just tricking people into watching these videos. I mean, somebody going through the episode, guys, is going to be like, 15 minutes of ball in a cup. I'm not watching 15 minutes of ball in a cup. That's stupid. So what'll be the incentive for people to watch this episode? Me. So they're going to watch it because they're going to think you're some kind of feathered snake god. That is actually not a bad idea in a convoluted brain damage kind of way of yours. I am a marketing genius. The only problem is I can't draw feathers or straight lines, and I hate dinosaurs. You are no brother of mine. I'm not your brother, you ball's head. I'm your dealer. Oh yeah, I just keep getting confused because we have similar facial hair. And get it right, the only reason I'm staying here is because I am hiding from those who want me dead. Those who give away free samples at the grocery stores. They call me Coral Snake McGee. Because Diamondback, Copperhead, and Cottonmouth were already taken, so I had to settle for the only other poisonous snake in North America. My story is a long one. It begins long ago on the shores of Antarctica. Uh, are you talking to invisible cameras again? Huh? Oh. These hallucinations are getting worse. What was it this time? A Panasonic HTC 900. Well, at least you've upgraded to high definition hallucinations. Was there an external microphone? None. Ooh, that's not a good sign. Should probably get professional help. No, we'll take it one crisis at a time. Your monkey shaven picture is done. It's blank. I told you, I am a minimalist artist. While other artists pour hours of hours of work into a project, I put minimal effort into it. Almost nothing. Oh, you're just like Damien Hirst. Ah, except I don't get paid millions to do nothing. That's why I sell drugs. Well, someday when you're a household name like Clorox and Folgers, I can brag to everybody that famous artist Coral Snake McGee used to do my title cards and my laundry and would occasionally chew my food for me when I was too inebriated to do it myself. Someday when I'm a household name and I never did that, you dropped it. 
Someday when I am a household name, they will respect me. They will not persecute me. They will not call my work junk. They will call it art. Who are they to decide what is art? If I were to throw a guitar at the wall, would they call it art? If I were to put my couch on display and let cats pee on it, would they call it art? I'd call it Steve or Bartholomew. Those names are very underused. We need to bring them uh, back. You're doing it again. Shit. I really must see somebody about this mental defect. Yes. Yes, you should. I have a number for a guy who specializes in audiovisual psychiatry. He can help you out. I'm gonna go put some flicker. Hey, it looks like that obscure guy's reviewing the wide album. Hi everybody, today we're talking about ball and cup. This is the ball, this is the cup. The ball goes in 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 the cup. Unsubscribe.